so I've been reading that book that I talked about in the maybe last video. Um, it's this book. It's called The Secret History of the World. Right? And it's good. It's really good. I've, it's big, thick, and I've, I've been reading it. And I just got, like, so angry. You know, I lost a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff. Um, and I gained a lot of stuff, like supernatural healings that nobody believes. Not nobody. There, I have people in my life who believe, but... Um, at the time, okay, that I was seeking and everything went down with me and people in my life, who, um, understandably and rightfully, um, just assumed I was nuts, like psychotic, um, cause I did a lot of crazy shit because for some reason in my life, I... And you know what, like, that book and other stuff will talk about people who are more in tune to the, that's not all that book talks about, I don't mean to like, like, the, some people are blessed or gifted with a insight into the spirit world or whatever, I never had anything like that. I never experienced anything, like I've said, at all, supernatural, like, at all. And now... I have the opposite or something else. And uh, at that time in 17 now, so it was the winter, it was the Christmas of 1314. Um, I had been for a while watching videos by two people, other people too, but two people in particular. One was named Mr. McCleary at the time. He became Mac 13 and then like I, I and a bunch of other stuff. He always had to change his channel because he was getting copyright um, infringements or whatever. And CC. And they were both making videos about, and I don't even know how I found their channels. I was seeking out a lot of stuff and seriously, okay, I'm going to have to charge my battery. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna have to hold it because the charger, anyway, it doesn't matter. So, CC and Mac, they were making videos, and Mac started out as like this very, anyway, what seemed to me to be a very humble, kind of quiet guy who was trying to teach the mysteries. And I was all about that. I was like, what's the mystery? I wanna know the mystery. Um, like the Bible talks about the mystery. I'm not so much anymore. Honestly, I don't care about the mystery anymore. Um, but at the time I really did. I wanted to know the truth behind the truth behind the truth. What's the secret? What's the truth? What's the mystery? And CC was making videos uh, in the, that were about the same stuff as Mac. And they were like an internet couple. I don't know if they ever met. You know, but something went wrong somewhere between them. And Mac actually became really mean and very ugly, actually. And uh, God help me if he ever finds these videos, because what hap what he does and what the people who follow him do is, like, rip people apart. If, like, I don't know, man, he just changed. And I have opinions, I have ideas, I, ha I actually think I understand that, but it's also kind of scary, because... I don't want to believe that that's true, but CC, they were making these videos that were, they were trying to reveal truths. I don't believe in what CC was saying. I don't disbelieve it. It's not that. It's not that. It's that I think that when you seek um, deeply and there's a whole lot more to that and different people and different things and like Christians I know them I know Christians who have deep experiences with God and I believe it and when you seek though and you know it's funny because it almost like confirms the Bible story you seek and you get deceived 
And anyway, part of the reason that I sought the truth from God was these people making these videos were, that seemed, that were so confusing and interesting. Like, I was really interested in it. I was like, what's this? Like, this is the truth. Or not the truth, but like some kind of like, what? And I ended up seriously just being like, okay, it can't be that hard. Like, it can't be this complicated. And I, then I asked God for the truth. And some years later, um, when I was living in Kentucky, I don't live there now. I moved to Salt Lake City a couple months ago. I lived there for three years, and it was an interesting time. I got in touch with Cece because I wanted her help. I thought she could help. The second I mentioned Mac, though, she was done. Like, she she wasn't going to help me. And I she she literally said to me, well, that, it sounds like a bit of a pickle you've got yourself into. And it may... I'm mad. I'm mad tonight because I've been reading that book and I think that there are truths. You know, that book is about, anyway, the thing about CC. I just needed to say that, CC and Mac, and I hope <laughs> that they never, not CC. she's very kind, but Mac, man, he's mean. That guy's mean, mean. Like, I don't know. He started out nice and it just went bad on him, the whole thing, which is kind of scary if to think about like people who find kind of like seek tr seek and stuff and you can see the tables turn on them. I this probably happened to me. It happened to me. <laughs> the tables turned. I did not know. Um I don't know. There's a lot of folklore about this kind of stuff, which is what that book is about. But um in that book, he I had never heard of this I can't remember his name. He's a saint. Catholic saints are interesting. They're not what you think. Uh, and there's a whole lot going on that's not what people think. But most people just really don't kind of care. And I don't know if that matters or not. I don't. I don't know if it's all just kind of like a cosmic game where we think a bunch of stuff matters and 